I watched Breaking Bad like ten. I told the girl I watched it what twelve times. I've definitely seen it over over ten times. It's been like twelve times that I watched it. I've only seen Game of Thrones all the way through twice. Cause I watched when you watch, mm -hmm. when you watched the first all them times. Then I did stupid shit. I went and watched the Red Wedding, stupid. and I watched it. I was like, that was it when I first watched it. But then I went back and watched the whole thing through one time. And let me tell you, the fact that I only saw Breaking Bad. I mean, I only saw Game of Thrones one time, one and a half. And I immediately, like that, was able to put it next to Breaking Bad. It's not just an easy conversation. People keep saying, make Breaking Bad for sure. Because they weren't happy with the way season eight ended. But yeah. for me, it's not that easy of a conversation. Let it's me not think. simple. Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad, for me, I'm going to go with Thrones. You going Thrones? Yeah, I because, because and I've Breaking seen Breaking Bad. Bad a ton of times, but like I feel like Game of Thrones is more important than Breaking Bad, whether we like the way it ended or not. You feel me? Like I feel like Breaking Bad was a really good idea as to where Game of Thrones is like once in a lifetime. My kids won't get to experience it. They're going to have to go back and watch what I watched. Breaking Bad did what every single TV show is trying to do today. Like they did it already. Done. Drama. Real life people with a real relatable character, middle class dude trying to get on. Yeah, like that's yeah. a it, like, they, and they finished it great. But Game of Thrones, bro, all of that shit. Think about all the theories we were able to build for Game of Thrones. It has to be a good ass show to do that. Yeah, you know what's crazy though? I don't even all the way agree with you because Breaking Bad did that better than every. Let me tell you, like, let's just get for real. Breaking Bad doesn't have the same characters that Game how? of Thrones has. How not? How what do you not? Mean, how not? That's how not? Question. Nah, bro. All right, let's be completely honest. This is where we disagree. We're not about to start sitting here and acting like they just both equal. Game of Thrones character, the cast, way better than the cast of Breaking Bad. You got two heavy headed hitters. I'm not going to all the way sit here and say that, Terrence. You got two heavy headed hitters on Breaking Bad. I mean, Anna Gunn is really good, too. Let's be completely honest, bro. Aaron Paul did not deserve that that award over Peter over Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. He did. Every year. Not every year. The year where Tyrion got locked up. Remember when he was on trial? Yeah. That was the year that he deserved that Emmy. I've always hated Jesse. Jesse was just so ungrateful, it seemed like. Walt saved Jesse's life like 30 times, but everybody can only focus on the fact that he brought him back into the game. Do you not realize that he would be dead? Nah, I get to a certain point where you don't like Walt, bro. I love Walt. Jesse all the way was to the good. End. Jesse was like, "Look, I'm out. Like, I'm done." And Walt's like, "I'm in the Empire business. What the hell happened to you, Nate?" <laughs> Walt thought his cancer was coming back, and he's like, "Yo, I need more money." And then he had to include Jesse because he couldn't do it by himself. Bottom line, both stories are really good. But when you talk about how Game of Thrones, let's just, let's just talk about that. Game of Thrones was on some bullshit this year. This year, but you know what? It was on some bull. They was wait, on before some we get to that. I'm not gonna let you just breeze by and say. That that cast was way better because it wasn't. Come on, bro. It's not even a competition. Look at you got people like Terrence, Brian Littlefinger, like, like small roles like that, but like such a in a great role. Character. But like, I just don't see who in the show. You don't want to go down that road. Just stay away Brian from it. Cranston, stick to plot and or whatever. Gun. But stay away Aaron from Paul, character. Jean Carlo Esposito, the Night King or Gustavo. Damn, that's a good one though. Night King. <laughs> really though? Because all the Night King did. Up until the end, it was Night King. They just made him a bitch in the end. All the Night King did was say, yo, I'm coming. Gustavo and the Night King had the, the exact Night same energy, did they not? The Night King and Gustavo had the exact same energy. They do. Gustavo, some shit would happen, he would be like, in the restaurant, like, all right, bet. Like, all right, in the straight face. Both sent subliminal messages through death. Yep, yep, yep. He the Night King got the dragon just so he could land that joint and then stroll right in there to brand. He didn't even use it. It's just a ride. If he would have used that joint like Danny used it in the very end, yeah, then. But honestly, that was some bullshit. Drogon's ass would have been pierced up by them scorpions. The way they shot down Rhaegal, I can't believe Game of Thrones ended that way. Honestly, it was it was ridiculous. If you think that Game of Thrones ain't better than Breaking Bad because of the end. I honestly can't even really get too mad at that person. Who's your favorite character from Breaking Bad? My favorite character, my favorite character from Breaking Bad had to be
Gustavo Fring, bro. I think my favorite character is definitely Walt. Why you can take the round? Okay, outside of Walt. I love Walt, too. I love Walt all the way to the end. Walt was my favorite character. I didn't right, fuck with anybody. I don't. I didn't like Hank. Okay, take Walt out. Who who was your favorite? If you can't pick Walt, because I would have picked Walt too, but I was like, I don't want to pick the main. What's his name? Mike. Mike. Yeah. But I couldn't stand Mike. I fucked with Mike because I started to realize that Mike was just doing his job. He had his granddaughter. Nah. Mike was just doing his nah, damn job. Nah, he was not. And like Mike, Mike said, started being like, look, legacy costs. Hell no. I was with Walt. I was like, what the hell? Remember when had? Mike told him he was like, we had everything good, and then you had to go and kill Gus. Remember that? We had everything good, and you fucked it all up. Now we gotta do it this way. Did you not see what was happening with Gus? Gus was about to kill him. All right, favorite character from Game of Thrones. Favorite character from Game of Thrones was hands down. I'm gonna go with Tyrion. Yeah. I'm gonna go with either Tyrion. I nah. hated Tyrion. By the end of it, I hated him. My favorite character was Arya. And I felt so bad that that was my favorite character toward the end because it's like they just shoved her in my face. Hey, you wanted her? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite character in the show was probably Grey Worm, bro. Get the fuck out it's of here, It's a Grey weird Worm. ass favorite character, but I just love Grey Worm. Bounce bro. Grey Worm. Number one, he got the bad jump. And and then any of us no can get mistake, a bad jump in his situation. Make no mistake about it. Grey Worm still had the hammer. He just lost the pebbles or whatever they call it. How did they say it? Did they still have the hammer in the Nah, the whole jump was nah. gone. The actor that played Grey Worm said that he still had that. He just didn't have the... They should have said that in the show. Because they said y'all ain't got nothing down there. I don't know. Well, even, even if he didn't, he still bagged with Sande. And then his loyalty, bro. And they just he wasn't scared of nothing. I, I don't know. Loyalty. Him. Grey Worm. Okay, do I have that one? Can I have two? You can have two. All right, bet. Him. Uh, Sam. Love Sam. Even though his ass should have died. In the, love Sam too. But I love Sam throughout the whole show. You love Danny through the whole show, and then at the end, you just like, that Damn. was never my favorite. Every Cersei time was one of my favorite the... characters. I ain't gonna Cersei lie. was, she was. The villain that you were like, all right, bet, I totally understand the villain, but yo, we fucking you up on sight. If you had to pick one performance out of both of the shows, best acting performance goes to who? You can pick two people. Damn. You can do one and one if you can't pick. If you can't, if you can't pick. Because it's going to be tough to talk wall. It is gonna be top to top, Brian, but I'm gonna go. Tyrion had a bunch of real good scenes, bro. A bunch of real good scenes. All right, well, let's do it this way because we already know it's, it's Brian Cranston for Breaking Bad. Yeah. But for Game of Thrones, best performance, for me, it will probably be, I don't even know her name, but whoever played the lady that, I'm not gonna disrespect her like Brienne. that. Brienne? Hell no. The chick that played Cersei. <laughs> so my favorite would be my favorite would definitely be Cersei, bro. She she Cersei played had Cersei had the best performance in the in the whole show. To me, I disagree. Who had a better performance than her? Sansa. Not even close. Sansa in that season one, as a young lady, put on a fantastic performance, bro. She brought everything in. She literally went to the bottom of the earth for that performance. But I don't even think she had the best performance. And Breaking is definitely Walt. But after that, I'm going Skyler. I ain't Brian going Jesse. Brian Cranston killed it. And if we're not picking him, it's definitely Anna Gunn. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going Jesse. I'm not saying that Jesse did a bad job at all. He did Aaron a, Paul, yeah, he one of my it. favorite characters of all time. But I ain't putting him over Anna Gunn. Anna Gunn made me hate her. But she was right. <laughs> she got with Ted. We can't get and mad. And she was just trying to do fucked up shit. He, we, Walt never cheated on her. But she was trying to... You ever, you ever notice that we all got mad at Skylar for literally just being Walt's wife? Like, Walt married her and knew exactly what the hell she would do when he started doing that. You know you driving your wife crazy, dog. Who if who did you hate the most on each show? I hated... I hated Marie. I fucking couldn't stand Walter fucking Jr. Fucking hated Marie. I hated Walter Jr. with everything in me, and I just really still don't yeah, like him. Get the fuck with your website, Walter Jr. Oh, you mini show to Montana. <laughs> I'd have been like, look, dog, I got Walt dog. wasn't fucking with that website when that drink came out. <laughs> then Walter Jr. was it. asking for it. Why yeah. don't you just fucking die? All right, bet. bet. Yeah. Oh, how about you just get up and walk to the table? Without those. That's what I got to ask. <laughs> That's, that's what fucked up. That's, that or, nah, that's fucked that up. or tell, telling somebody to die. We are not putting that in the video. If anybody is in that condition and you're telling people to die, you need to be ready for that comeback. You don't need to be the person that has an amputated arm. Like, whoa, you having trouble lifting that? Having trouble lifting. They're going to be like, 
You come and try to lift yeah. it with your one arm. <laughs> hated him. Oh, I actually hated him all the way through. I hated him all the way through. In Game of Thrones, Joffrey was easy. That's an easy one. Joffrey Joffrey. hated him. I hated Littlefinger. Never liked him. Never liked him. People, Never liked people him. People really fuck with Littlefinger at one point, but I'm like, I don't fuck with this guy. I started to tell Terrell, Littlefinger used to just talk about nothing. He used to say absolutely nothing to Sansa, and it would sound like something. He'd what? be like, all your life, you've looked beautiful like a flower, and when it blooms... Sometimes it falls. It's like, you're not saying anything. Sansa started picking up on that shit and was like, all right, whatever. Yeah. No. But I think the way he died was bullshit, though. Rindy. Whatever. No. What was his name? Ramsey Bolton. That was who I hated the most out of everybody. Because I hated Littlefinger, yeah. I hated Joffrey, yeah. But I hated Ramsey more than anybody. You know why? All right, well, let's hurry up and flip it real quick. Who did you hate more, Ramsey or Joffrey? Ramsey. 100%. I hated Joffrey way more. But you know what? That's why I said, like, you, I watched with you, and I didn't know who the hell he was. So when everything was happening, I had already seen it. Like, you showed me when he was like, beat her with it. With this. Oh, with Joffrey. Or I'll kill you. Well, yeah, and just I'm think like, about oh. Joffrey, though, bro. One thing that I, li- that I could say that I like about Ramsey is at least he is who he is. Joffrey was always yep, yep. But when it came down to it, bro, he, he ain't about that. At least Ramsey was out there in the field. Even Robert Baratheon knew it. Went head to head with Jon Snow. You got a sleeper character that nobody really liked, but you like. My sleeper pick. My sleeper. It could be um, either show. It doesn't matter. I can't even say that he's a sleeper. But I feel like when we were watching it, he was the sleeper. And then they found out. But Saul. Saul was always like, oh, yeah. Saul took the show to a different level. Got his own show. I think the sleeper in that show got his show. The sleeper in this show is definitely Arya. Arya's not a sleeper, bro. Everybody fucking loves that chick. My sleeper for for Game of Thrones would be Tywin Lannister, bro. My absolute second favorite character on the show. I felt like Arya never got the respect that she deserved, though. Like when it they comes let to her life. kill the Night King. I felt she like she did still walk around like she was a regular chick after killing the Night King. The reason why I call her a sleeper is because a lot of the shit that we went through with Arya, we went through with Arya and Arya only. The we faceless did, man shit and all that. Yeah, like it was a lot of Arya on her own, and I felt like just like the uh, they said about I Am Legend and then Lost. It take a whole lot to command some to command the screen to be the only one. Yeah. Imagine if you was the only one sitting right here. Some people might be like, "Look at this fucking guy yeah. with his fucking all right bowling alley member shirt on." Don't he look like he work at a bowling alley? All right, bet. Look, 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 size nine. All right, bet. Yeah, all right, boy. You dress like a smooth bartender, boy. You look like you ready to make me a smooth rum and coke. You look at you. You work at the uh, the AMF lanes, boy. What is it? Bowling pins. <laughs> You look like you're getting ready to say, all right, this is how you put the bubbles up. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Bowling. <laughs>